Okay, let's use some of our Tinkercad skills here to uh, learn how to make a bridge uh, using popsicle sticks. This will come in useful for your project. You can see here I've got some designs that are already made. Um, there's, there's a lot you can do. You don't have to do this type or a different one, but this will at least give you an idea of how to do it in a very quick and efficient way. So let's learn a little bit about how that works. So go ahead and hit, I'm going to hit create. 3D design, and it's going to load here. Um, one of the first things I'm going to change is settings. I want to make sure I'm in inches and not millimeters, and I'm going to actually change the size of my work plane to something much wider because really when you think about this project, we're spanning a long distance with a bridge, so my work plane is going to need to be larger. Even though they technically go into infinity, the work plane we see here uh, is going to help me kind of lay things out. So I'm going to make it larger. So go ahead and click settings. And mine is set by default to millimeters. I'm going to change that to inches. And I'm going to just change the width. Let's make it 30 inches. I'm not even going to worry about the length. That's fine. Then I can close settings. And you can see that my grid has become much longer and makes more sense for the project that I'm working here. I also want to change the name of this. Uh, for you, you know, you're probably just going to put bridge. Uh, I'm going to just put sample bridge because I am not keeping this. This is just for the video. Okay, now I'm, I'm ready to work. So the cool thing about this program, at least right now, is that they actually have a pre-made popsicle stick in here. So right now it's on basic shapes. I'm gonna change that and I'm gonna move down to everyday objects. And right there, you know, depending on when you watch this video, this will probably change, but somewhere in this menu, and for me it's right now, <coughs> excuse me, I can bring over a popsicle stick. And if I click on the dimensions of it, I can actually see that this is the perfect size. This is exactly what the dimensions are of the popsicle sticks we'll be using for our project. And that is that it's about four and a half inches long. This is 4.488. That's basically four and a half inches. Okay. And it's the right length, the right depth and the right thickness. So I don't have to do anything to that. But what I am going to do is instead of dragging a bunch over, I'm going to duplicate them. So click duplicate or control D. And as you know, they duplicate right on top of it. So you're gonna have to move it over. I moved it over with my arrows. I like to do that. Uh, I encourage you to get used to at least sometimes doing that, but you can do it with your mouse or trackpad too. So if I click, click uh, duplicate a few more times, I'll get a few more popsicle sticks on there. Now I'm just gonna move these out of the way. I may or may not use all these, I just wanted them on the screen. I want to get to the point where I just have two. All right. I want a triangle. Um, and the triangle that I'm going to make is going to be an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle, as you know from math, geometry, is a triangle that has equal sides and equal angles. And also from math, you know that a triangle always adds up its angles to 180 degrees. That means in an equilateral triangle, if I divide 180 by 3, I get 60. So I want to rotate this 60 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to use that arrow, that curved arrow. You'll notice that as it snaps, it never does get to 60. So what I'm going to need to do is have my mouse outside that circle so it's smooth. And I can go to 60 degrees then. So right there. Okay, then I'm letting go to my mouse using my arrows. And I'm going to pop this into place just like... Not quite perfect, but just about there. And by the way, if you want it to be perfect, you can change your snap grid to something more exacting, like 1 16th of an inch. Now when I do it, I can get it pretty much exactly where I want. Um, every time I click the, the arrow, it'll move in a smaller um, increment. Okay, so obviously I'm going to need another popsicle stick here. I can drag another one over if I wanted to and rotate it. But I want to show you another way of doing it that you might find helpful. If you click on the one that, that's already there and already angled correctly, I basically want that same stick but mirrored to the other side. So a little trick here. First, duplicate. Okay, so now there's actually two of them there. 
and you, I could move it and show you. There's two. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the mirror tool. Okay. And what pops up are a couple errors, arrows. It's asking you, do you want to mirror, mirror this up and down or do you want to mirror this side to side? Okay. I want to mirror it side to side. So click down here and you'll notice it's taken that duplicate and it's mirrored it to the first one you had. Now I can simply move it over with my arrows until I get it right there, right where I want it. So now I'm actually, I'm going to move this over a little bit. Something doesn't look quite right on that. So that's better. All right. So if I look over the top of this, I've got a nice triangle here. I can keep making triangles if I want that that's certainly going to get me what I need, but I think you know probably the best way to do this is to go ahead and select the whole triangle, duplicate it, and then simply use my arrows to move it where I want it, okay? There's no point in making the whole thing over again. You can just do that. Um, if I wanted to, I can just keep hitting duplicate until I have everything I want. I could also, oop, let me go one back. I could also put one of these drag it into place, and then I could select the whole thing, duplicate it. There's a lot of different ways of doing this, and then move the whole thing over. Now, for the purposes of this project, if you're doing a truss like this, you'll understand this as we get into it, you're, you're actually going to want seven triangles or an odd number of triangles. And the reason is you need the center triangle to have an opening kind of like this so that we can stick our testing bar through it. That'll make more sense when we get into the project, but that's just something to keep in mind. I'm going to duplicate this one more time and show you another way to handle that center issue. Okay. Um, let's just say we're going to stop with this. Again, you probably would want one more. Um, if I wanted to do that, I can just simply just kind of click, shift, shift, and click, and then I can duplicate to add one more. That's fine. Um, by doing that, I now have the center has an opening. The only issue is that this is getting to be a really long bridge, but that's okay. Um, I still need a couple popsicle sticks to fill in, so I'm gonna go ahead and click this one and duplicate, move it over. Hopefully you're noticing that like, wow, we can actually get a lot done in a short amount of time by doing duplicates, okay? But these I'm just going to drag into place. Oop. I did it again. Try that. There we go. Move that into place. So what you probably notice is we have a finished truss here. So let me take the whole thing. I'm going to move it over. Oh, I did not want to do that. I'm going to move it over like this. All right. Um, right now it's flat, okay, which is great, but I want my truss standing up. So I need to get this oriented like kind of straight up and down because I'm going to draw a rectangle around it and select the whole thing. If I have it like this and then I try to draw a rectangle around it, I'm going to be grabbing these things over here and it, that's not going to work. So you really, before you try to duplicate, get it straight up and down so that you can just get a square drawn around the whole thing and not these other ones up here, okay? So once you have that, I'm gonna tip the whole thing up. So I'm gonna kind of move down like this and here's the arrow I want. I'm gonna go ahead and tip it until I get to 90 degrees, which it's not showing 90 degrees, but I'm pretty sure that's it. Yep, that's 90 degrees, okay? I also need to raise the whole thing up. So I'm gonna lift it up like this and I'm gonna type here zero, enter, and now it's sitting on top of the work plane. I think you're probably already guessing what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna duplicate this entire thing to the other side. Before I do that, I'm gonna use my arrows and move it forward so I have room. And also before I do that, I'm gonna move this over here so I know how wide to make this. I'm gonna turn this like, oop, that's the wrong arrow. Try that again. I gotta find the correct arrow. It's this one right here. I'm gonna turn this 90 degrees and I'm gonna just kind of position this so I have an idea of how wide to make the trusses. So about here works for me. 
and I'm going to go up above this, select just the truss, okay? And I'm going to duplicate it and take that duplicate with my arrows and move it over. And now you see why I put this, uh, this popsicle stick here. It'll tell me how far to move it over. So I'm going to move it over to about there and then simply slide this thing right in place. Okay. Now, if I look at this, it's sitting on the bottom. This popsicle stick is, I want it actually on top of these truss rails because that's going to be a lot stronger. So I'm going to pull it up a little bit, like about, I don't know, about like there. Okay. And that's going to be a much stronger uh, situation. So now that I've got one in place, let's go ahead and make a bunch of duplicates. So click on it, duplicate, move it over. You can leave a little gap in between. That's fine. That's allowed on the project. And then just hit duplicate a bunch of times. And very quickly, that whole bridge surface is filling in. Oop, went too far. Now, you'll notice that like this one here has a popsicle stick that's sticking into these two. Those are adjustments you're going to have to make when you actually build this. You would probably move this to one side or the other, um, maybe change the spacing so that it doesn't happen, but that'll be when you actually build it. The next thing I want to do is make sure there's a couple trust members on top here. I don't want this whole thing to collapse inward. If you were looking at it this way, when you put some weight in the middle of this, this truss and this truss are going to bend towards each other, and that's going to be a problem. You don't want that happening. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take, let, I'll just take this one, duplicate it, and I'm going to lift it up into place about here. I'm going to need to use my arrow to move it over a little bit. Okay. And now that I've got that, I'm going to duplicate it again. Oops, I did not want to do that. Let me undo that. Duplicate it and slide it sideways. We'll just put one over each of those um, arrows. Actually, we don't even need that. We'll just go a little bit further. I can adjust these later. And you can see I'm just adding them. Oop. I'm going to have to duplicate this again. And one more. There we go. Okay, that's much stronger. Um, I'm going to delete these leftovers I have. I want to show you a little trick here. There is a limit of 150 sticks for this project. And you might be wondering, well, how many have I put into my design? Here's a cool trick. Select the whole thing. And look right here. It tells you how many you've used. I've only used 86. I can take this and I, I have another, what, 86, 14. I have another 64 popsicle sticks I can add to this to give strength. So I could add another set of rails along the side, along the top. I could add more triangles. I can increase the height of my truss. There's a lot of things I can do. And I know exactly how many I've used because of the feature of selecting all and looking at the number up here. Okay, so I hope this helps. Uh, it's a fun way of making a bridge. You can make it really quickly. Um, your bridge design is gonna look very different from this, I would assume. But keep in mind that we are going to have things like certain lengths that this needs to be. You're going to want it at least 22 inches. You're going to want to make sure it's wide enough for Mr. Happy Block to fit through it and, and so that he won't fall uh, between these gaps. So there's different things you're going to have to keep in mind in your design. But we'll talk about that when we get to the project. I hope this helps you and I hope this inspires you to make something of your own and make it really cool and hopefully that'll help you find some success with your bridge project. See you later.